What's up, y'all? So today I'm gonna talk about spiritual attacks. Um, spiritual attacks can come in many shapes and forms, and from what I, from what I know, and which it can range from someone has sending an ailment or a pain your way, um, to uh, to the fact that someone can make your heart explode. Literally, some really freaky stuff. But ultimately, it all comes down to who you are, really, and how to be able to understand your inner power and be able to render those kind of machinations uh, uh, null and void, mood at best, and, uh, and go from there. And see, me personally, I I may have said this earlier, but I'm going to say it again. I, I've been through three uh, spiritual attacks that I know at this moment were spiritual attacks. And for the most part, they're like uh, extreme at pain in certain places. Like I'll be like when I wake up, I'll have like oh, my arm is hurting and no full well that there's no real reason my arm should be hurting like that. So. And then I have to do some meditation and actually get around that. And eventually, it, it, it uh, once you uh, understand where it's coming from, you can send you can send that energy right on back to them. Tenfold. Uh, especially if they don't know who they're attacking. Especially if you actually uh, have gotten to a certain certain point. And once you get to that point, nothing can really hurt you. So get that knowledge out there. Um, don't don't fear fear is a really strong way to get you it really so, is like say for instance sicknesses um there are a lot of ways to get past sicknesses there are a lot of ways to get past sicknesses home remedies will go a long way and one that i will bestow onto you are lemon peels lemon peels are highly uh enriched with uh, vitamin C's, fiber, and flavonoids, flavonoids of which have a strong antiviral and antibacterial uh, properties. So, just a little fun fact, in which you can actually look that up. There are articles of, out there that will state this uh, from highly credible sources. So, um, I digress. There are other ways to... Uh, other ways to get around uh, those kind of low vibrating spells, so to speak. I sit and ponder deep, deep, like deep. And some people will, you'll see this and be like, this man is weird, it's, it's stuff. But no, I sit and ponder. I get deep with it. You have to really ultimately look at it because ultimately with this being a, you know, a cosmic game, if you will, if you get to a certain level, you, you understand it. You really realize what it really is and you have to play your part in it. I mean, I'm a creator, so I'm going to play my part in this as a creator. Man, I remember past lives, so <laughs> certain past lives have given me certain things that I have to continue and do. And I and I say this to to bestow onto you. Please live your life for you. Create the world you want to create. Uh, and this is probably where they gonna where this will get me in trouble, but I don't care. The, law, the the carbon based Michael, if you want to get him in trouble, that's fine, come for me. Because the higher self Michael is not Michael. And when you realize what his name is, <laughs> aren't there you many woes? <laughs> but I say that to say, these people the sit up here at bold face say, aluminum tubes. Aluminum tubes. Saddam Hussein needs that to build a nuclear weapon and, and what 
in 94, some little boy, or in the early 90s, um, some little boy built a, built a ball with, <laughs> with household parts. Like, I mean, a Boy Scout, I think. It was a Boy Scout. He built a, a, a reactor. If you could build a I mean, and I'm going to tell you, if you actually understand physics, you will understand it is not that hard to build, <laughs> build those kind of things. They tell you it's hard, so you don't do it. <laughs> it's not that hard. I'll be honest with you. And I'm not saying that tell you how to go. I'm probably edit that out because I don't want that going to blow on everybody. <laughs> Oh my God! This this Grand Theft Auto world we got going on right now, I cannot. Cause let somebody go out there and do it, or not. <laughs> and in a hot second, and it's just so funny and comical to me that we sit up here and just like I can't. Oh my God! I went off too. So oh, yeah, okay, fall, fall. Uh, I, I mean, and, and you know, Dave Chappelle made satire out of it, but I mean, it's just it's it's honest to God, just. Fictitious comical stuff at this point. Just know that you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you like. That's not how the song goes, but you get the general gist, yes? Okay. With that message out there, for the light workers, keep doing your thing. For the chosen, stay on mission. And for those who know, let's get it.